Hi, English pronunciation learners. Welcome back to another lesson of English pronunciation, phonetics, and phonology. In this lesson, I'm going to cover with you four pronunciation areas or features that native speakers tend to use in their speech. And it is done and applied to make the language easy to say and also faster. So here we are. These are the four pronunciation areas at a higher level that native speakers tend to use in their speech. The first area or feature is coalescence or also called fusion. And we mean by fusion or coalescence the merge of a new sound within the word. For example, the word educate, instead of saying educate, we say educate. Here, the emergence of the sound j as a new sound. We call this a sound change. I repeat, educate, educate. The second word is, instead of saying june, we say june. We tend to merge the sound j, june. The third example is, Instead of saying assume, we say shum. The emergence of the sound sh, that's the sound change, shum. Word number four is, instead of saying tune, tune, tune. And then module, instead of saying module, we say module. The sound change is also j sound, module. And also the example of gotcha. Instead of saying gotcha, native speakers in their everyday speech and connected speech and easy or fast speech, they say gotcha, gotcha, I gotcha say. And then feature number two is what you call elision or sounds disappearing. The disappearing of some sound. For example, I don't know, you say I don't know, I don't know. Here the disappearing of the T sound and also the K is a silent letter and also the N in don't, you say I don't know, I don't know. The second example is very specific. Instead of saying February, you say February, February. So here we have a disappearing of two or three sounds. Uh, Instead of saying February, so Ruyari is disappearing. We say February, February. Example number three, another feature is silent and mute letters, which is very, very common in the English language. Examples, bomb. We don't say bomb, the B is silent. Bomb, tomb, knife. Here the B. K or the B and K letters are silent, mute letters, not sounded, not pronounced. I repeat, bomb, tomb, knife. And example number four or the feature of pronunciation four is the Lincoln Re. This is also very common in English. For example, we say for apples, for apples. Here we tend to link the R sound the R with A vowel, we say four apples, four apples. The second example is far away, far away. The letter R is linked with A, becomes R sound, far away. And also the right ear is, the right ear is. After D, we say the right ear is. And the last example is Cuba is, Cuba is, Cuba the country is, Cuba is a very large country. Okay, I repeat, in this video, I have covered with you four pronunciation areas at a higher level. Coalescence or fusion, like gotcha or June, elision, like February, silent letters, like tomb, and Lincoln Ray, like four apples. In the coming video, I will cover also some other pronunciation areas 
that natives that, that native speakers tend to use at a higher level. Thanks for watching and goodbye.